Everybody, welcome to What the Flick, Hannibal, episode uh, 11 of season three, and the Beast from the Sea, Bibbs, Alonzo. Do not mess with Will's woman or you will lose your toilet. Yes, that took me a second. <laughs> I was like, okay, I was thinking, so like, Dollar I lost a toilet? What happened? No, no, like, you know, Hannibal, Hannibal lost his toilet. That's, that cell's gonna get gross. I, I, I don't even want to know what the alternative is. Well, I assume there's, a, there's well, he's a tidy man, so I assume the corner. A, a chamber pot, perhaps? Ooh. With a, with a little lace doily to go on top? Yeah, but then he'll, like, shatter the pot and then, like, use it to, like, I don't know, write things. Oh, yeah, true, true. I don't true. know, like, what he's he He's not do. to be trusted. He's not to be trusted under any circumstances. This was a fun one. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, you know, the idea of Dollarhide going after Will's family originally was in the uh, the end of Manhunter and Red Dragon right. and the movies and the books, uh, and here they shoved it in the middle. This is the first like dramatic rejiggering yeah. of the of the text, uh, and it is fun. <laughs> it is a good home invasion sequence. Really, really scary, and I think it really helps solidify Molly as a much more interesting character well, and sure, a, much, yeah. a much stronger character in a lot of ways. There's this annoying tendency to equate strength in a female character is just whether or not they kick ass and don't have feelings. Right. Here it's like, no, she's she's just really, really great and capable and she's not a victim. And yeah. that's she's really, really wonderful. She's a stuff. mama bear, you know. She is a mama bear and she handles that situation as well as can possibly be expected. But for me, the best moment is afterwards when she's in their hospital bed talking yeah. to Will. And she gets like, you know, she starts kind of getting angry and then says, ooh, I got angry there for a second. <laughs> like, what an interesting, nice person. Oh, even after like Will kind of surreptitiously got her shot and her child <laughs> endangered, she's just like, I'm not gonna get angry. Right, right. But you disappointed me. Exactly. Yeah, no, I, they, they definitely think did a good job of making her not the girl, you know? Yeah. Like they, they, she is. She is a self-possessed character. She is. She has agency. Oh, she is all mm -hmm. that good stuff. Um, and it's, so, yeah, it's good to know that that even that she's a match for Dollarhide. You That's know. right, and she's a match for Will. You know, in the original text, you know, there was this whole thing about how Dollarhide had their address, but then he didn't get there until the end, and so Will just extricated her. And there was this bit where he taught her how to shoot a gun, and it was very sad. He was <laughs> like, "Look what I have done. <laughs> I've made her shoot a gun," and it kind of works. But here is so much more intense and dramatic, uh -huh. and you really just see the guilt of it. But for me, I think the most interesting thing is just the idea of. This isn't like, in the original text, going after Will's family, especially in the middle, would have been way more about just not getting caught. Mm. Here, they, we have this great prologue where Hannibal and Dollarhide are talking about, we'll just throw the dragon to them. You know, like, you sure. don't want to kill Reba, kill them. Yeah. Kill other people. Make it, man, it makes perfect, perfect sense. Right. But it, there's this line, I wrote it down. <laughs> Our wills were one, but not now, not since her. The dollar hide has because uh -huh. he's talking about how the dragon is bifurcating him. But yeah. the fact that they said will really makes me think about the parallel between uh, dollar hide and also Hannibal and Will. They kind of have been seen as two sides of the same coin, and now they're divided by Molly. So Hannibal's like, okay, we'll fucking kill Molly. Done. Well, yeah, I mean, clearly the the, the unspoken agenda here is, uh, is is the notion of Hannibal wanting to not be replaced in Will's sort of obsession, and then once it becomes clear that it, basically it's a win win for him. Because yeah. either Dollarhide kills her, or if he doesn't, as he points, as Hannibal points out at the end, now whenever Will sees her, he's going to think of Hannibal. Ah, uh, ew! He is <laughs> so good at this. Yeah, like you have to respect it. Like as jilted lovers go, Hannibal is the tops. <laughs> he's the winner. I'm trying to even think. Like you know, Glenn Close was so unsubtle, sloppy. He's slo so sloppy. Like Hannibal would know. This is this is elegant. Yeah, elegant bitchiness. <laughs> it's so great. Uh, um, let's talk about Reba since you mentioned yeah. her. I, I that was a, I, I thought a great scene. The idea of uh, you know the, the, when they the, they break up and her I, her thing of like, well, thank you for not you know for basically treating this like a, a, a relationship you could walk out of. You know, because mm -hmm. if you're a blind woman, I'm sure you get a lot of people who you know they feel guilty and you know mm -hmm. if they want to break up with you, it's like, oh, how can I do this to a blind woman? So mm -hmm. to be treated like another human being who can be dumped at any given moment, I'm yeah. sure for her, you know, I, I like that she could express like, yes, well, thank you for putting me in that category I, I of re regular person. You know, I really, really like uh, the, this interpretation of Reba, and she's so strong. And yeah. even even though the other versions were strong, there was something just sort of normal about them, something sort of safe. And she has this great. 
I don't want to diminish it by saying sassiness, but if I did, if I was that way, I would describe myself as sassy. I would just be like, I'm she's, not going to take any shit. She's got spunk. She's got spunk, kid, yeah. man. No, she does, and she is such a she is such an interesting presence. And the idea that she doesn't want to be seen as anything less than strong and who she is yeah. uh, really informs everything about her. And I really, really respect that. And it's it's it is nice. Um, we talk about the bit where Dollar Hyde fights the dragon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the Fight Club moment. I was thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's that sort of thing where it's just like that's got to be a hard scene to pull off the beating the crap out of yourself scene. Right. I don't know um, how I would do in such a fight. I feel like I'd probably <laughs> lose. I I, pro I haven't won a fight since um. <laughs> Ever, but uh, I definitely think I'd lose that one. I find a way to lose it on both sides. I'm sure. Yeah, I I, I have a lousy left hook, so I don't think <laughs> I would fare well against me. Um, yeah. No, well, but at least you know he's not having to do the the full you know sort of Ed Norton you know self abuse. They they do they do give us a dragon as a separate you know entity. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So so there's a couple of things that are bugging me though, and one of them is we have that we have this scene. Where Hannibal is on the line with the Red Dragon, and you know Jack is listening in and everything like that, and the Red Dragon drops a few things that are legitimately clues, not big clues, not headshot clues. Got a house. He's got a girlfriend named Reba. Maybe we should issue some sort of press release. If you're, <laughs> there aren't that many, I know Reba is short for Rebecca, but there really aren't that many Rebas out no. there. Maybe we start should start with Reba McIntyre and the male lady on Pee Wee's Playhouse and work your way down. Work your way down. Like seriously, we've got we've got some if we've got it, we've we've I mean sorry, Will Cena, we've gotta have a sketch. Sure. If you or someone you know is named Reba, if they're dating a guy who looks like this and that guy owns a house, <laughs> contact us. I wonder. Yeah, there there could be some degree of triangulation there if they felt a little like, bit. like and maybe next hurt. week maybe next week it will occur to someone. Oh yeah, hey, why don't we? Uh... Yeah, we we have some some clues. Yes, some clues. Uh, so anyway, the, anyway, but I don't know. Like this episode, just it just works. It's a good <laughs> episode, and I was I was intrigued and I was thrilled, and I can't wait to see how Hannibal's gonna get back at um, at Alana. Oh yeah. I mean, she was true to her word, but mm, nah, he's probably not happy about this no, whole clearly. situation. I, you know, I, and I, I, I hope that we can get Brian to come back in for the finale because mm. I really do want to talk about the mm. trajectory of this season. It just, I, I, I'm curious as to what his master plan here was because it really feels like that we're, we're back. The back end here is the is what people wanted to see from this show, and I'm wondering about the decision to make us wait. Five episodes to get here. Right. This well, again, I think, you know, if you look at the first half of the season is like the world's worst breakup. <laughs> you know, and here it's like, and then and then they've broken up and everything's fine. And then it's like that scene in like blue is the warmest color where they meet up again and it's like so much passion and everything sure, like that, yeah, but yeah. they can't let themselves do it. It's so destructive. I feel like that's what this is. It's a bifurcated. I see the show increasingly as a relationship series. I can't, yeah. I can't not. And I think in that context, it's it's a little bipolar, but I think that's kind of the nature. No, no I mean, I, I, I'm not saying that it's it's not true to itself, and I think you're totally right as far as that being kind of crux of the of the drama. I just mean in terms of the actual structure of the storytelling, mm -hmm. uh, that's a real gamble to sort of take that many episodes as this show did in that style that it that it did, and 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 and, and expect that people are gonna remain, you know as focused on it as they had been in previous seasons. I wonder if he knew this was the last season and just said, screw it. That's also, that's one of the things I would like to ask. Yeah, yeah I, think I think that's, that's certainly a possibility. Because there's some point where it's just like, you know what, we're going to finish this out no matter what. I'm just going to do whatever the hell I want to yeah. do. Screw all y'all who wanted more like action and less weepy talk right. and metaphor. I'm going to have so a, we're going to have a hell of a DVD when this is over. <laughs> <laughs> When you binge watch it, you won't mind as yeah. long as you're patient. So yeah. anyway, anyway, I just anyway. I, I hope to be able to ask him about that. Anyway. But uh, we'll be back next week to talk about this some more. So we hope we'll be back.